Alright guys, welcome back to the next part of Resident Evil 5. Let's see, we're going to sell all the treasure. And we are now going to finally buy the bow. And it's on the other side of the screen because I'm playing as Sheva right now. I'm going to play as Sheva for probably just only this chapter. Or uh, this part of the chapter. Just so I can use Alright, let's go. They're planning to use it to spread Uroboros. No. Using a ship like this would give away their position too soon. We must have another plan. If you're wondering why it's black and white, um, this video is going to be uploaded on Halloween, and I figured, oh well. Oh well. Oh well. My aim is horrible. I figured black and white would be the most appropriate for a video coming out on Halloween. I cannot aim with this. So yeah, I wanted at least one video out on Halloween because Halloween's a cool fucking day. But um, I was originally going to make a... Gears of War Ultimate Edition montage. That didn't go through um, just because I haven't played that game in a while, to be honest. Fuck. My second choice was I was going to make a GTA 5 edit to do with Halloween, and I might still make a sort of horror themed GTA 5 edit, but. None of that's going to come out tomorrow. I got pretty uh, lazy when it came came to uh, coming up with ideas for the GTA edit. Right now it's uh, early in the morning on Halloween. And it'd be way too late for me to start trying to make a uh, GTA 5 edit. Does that stuff take some time? Oh, and by the way, I ended up buying the Resident Evil 5 DLC for a Halloween special. Uh, they had it on sale on Steam, so I got it pretty uh, cheap. Got it for half off, I believe. I ended up paying, like, what was it, like seven bucks or something? I don't know. It was around that ballpark. That means I'm going to have the Reunion Mercenaries, which are my favorite. The Mercenaries Reunion is just way funner because it has better characters and stuff, in my opinion at least. So, and also I got two new DLC campaigns. So, um, yeah, by the time I'm, I'm going to finish this game campaign, I'm going to start on the Vanilla Mercenaries. And then after I'm done with the Vidal Mercenaries, I might start on the uh, DLC. But yeah, the costumes that I'm wearing for Chris and Sheva are the DLC costumes. And there's a glitch going on. You see that guy spinning, running around in circles like a fucking idiot? Well, he's never going to jump down. He's a guy with the key code, so... Um... I guess I'm going to have to figure something out.
Okay, so you saw the glitch. I'm going to keep that part in the video. I'm going to try to do something else to prevent that from happening. I read on some forums that if you kill the guy operating the crane before you even go over there, he won't drop it and you won't even need a key card. This happened to me on my last playthrough. I can't remember exactly what I did. And um, I can't find any fixes online, so I'm going to try this out. And if it works, that's great. If not, well, that's going to fucking suck. Alright, I think I got everybody. Uh, let's go find out if this shit's gonna happen again. Alright, so that worked. Um, if you have the same problem, just do what I did. Take out the guys on the crane before you come over this way. Oh, look, he even gave me a little joke. I'm pretty sure that's a PC only glitch, because I never had that problem on the Xbox. I cannot aim with this fucking bow. Waited so long to get it, and now that I have it, oh, I can't jump back up there, can I? Fuck. so big. It won't be easy finding Wesker. That won't be a problem. Once he knows we're here, he'll find us. And how do you know that? Let's just say we have a history together. He's not the type to let grudges go. Hmm. You must have done something to really piss him off. It goes a bit beyond just pissing him off. So, are you going to tell me what happened? Maybe. But not until after we put an end to all this. Okay, but I'm holding you to that. Freeze! What's going on here? Nothing that concerns either of you. We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. Give her that much. What's this? Chris, is this? Whatever it is, Excella seemed protective of it. There is a, a PSA emblem right there if I could fucking hit it. Oh, fuck. Forgot about the fucking machine guns. It's been a while since we had a deal with those. What the fuck?
Are they just oblivious that I'm shooting a fucking RPG at them? But a second ago I shot a bow that makes zero noise, pretty much. And, um, they notice that, but they don't notice a goddamn fucking rocket launcher. This game makes no sense. I want to use the bow more, but it's not a one-shot one, hot, one shot kill, and whenever they have machine guns that kill me in one shot, it's just not very smart to use. Oh god. Yeah, I was tapping B because I knew he was going to fucking die. Jeez Louise, let's just get down here. This is also the first chapter that you run into, uh, JJ, the Resident Evil 5 version of him. Which he's still a little bitch, as always. But, every single JJ that you run into on this game doesn't even drop any treasure, which is fucking stupid. Oh my god. I want to try to kill him with this bow, but jeez, I can't fucking hit anything. Since it doesn't have a red dot, it's just hard to fucking aim this goddamn thing. Which I'm not saying that a bow and arrow should have a red dot. Maybe if they would, um... Put a small little reticle on the screen and use it. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Actually surprised Chris fucking got me that quick. That was dumb. Rocket launcher. Pretty sure there's one more somewhere. Yeah, there it is. survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Good 
creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, all is lost in Raccoon City. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Alright guys, well that does it for this video and chapter 6-1. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a safe Halloween. I'll see you guys in 6-2 and thank you all for watching.